This week has been a wild week for Alibaba. First, we witnessed the release of their new upgraded Quen3 model, which was absolutely shattering previous benchmarks and setting new state-of-the-art results. It outperformed Claude for Sonnet, Kimi K2, and many other top models across the board in math, coding, science, reasoning, and many others. But just yesterday, things got even crazier. They dropped their newest agentic code model called Quen3 Coder, and this might just be their most advanced release yet. Quen3 Coder comes in multiple sizes, and it's built to be a mixture of experts architecture model, which boosts a massive 480 billion parameters, with 35 billion active at inference. This is where it delivers insane performance without overwhelming compute, and the results are pretty insane. Because with this Quen3 Coder, it sets a new state-of-the-art score across top open-source models as well as closed-source models in agentic coding, agentic browser use, as well as tool use. It's not just competitive, it's comparable to Claude Sonnet and an agent-like reasoning and task automations while being open-source. Just take a look at the benchmark scores and you can see that the Quen3 coder is outperforming open base models as well as proprietary ones like Claude Sonnet 4 as well as OpenAI GPT 4.1 on many different benchmarks from Swaybench Verified all the way to Spider, Ader, and many others from browser use as well as agentic tool use. Here is a demo which showcases a bouncing ball in a rotating hypercube simulation. It was able to generate this in one shot the visualization with controls for rotation and ball speed included. It's kind of crazy to see that an open source model is capable of doing this. And I really love that this model is capable of doing these small sorts of tasks quite, quite quickly and in one shot. But that's not all. Along the release of the Quen3 Coder model, Alibaba also released a powerful new open source developer tool and it pairs perfectly with their coding model. This is where they've introduced the new Quen Code CLI tool. This is a command line AI workflow tool based on the Gemini CLI framework. And it's kind of replicating what Cloud Code as well as all these other CLI tools are capable of doing, but it's fully optimized for this Quen3 coder. It features enhanced parser support, extended tool capabilities that make it a serious asset for developers working on complex code bases. And it also has better code base understanding and editing workflow automation and enhanced parsing where it's built specifically to ensure that there's better performance and smarter edits. This is something that we're going to be downloading today and showcasing how you can set it up. Running out of time and fresh design ideas? Well, meet Kittle Flows, the fastest way to go from sketch to final designs in seconds. You can turn any idea into endless variations with a single click. You can explore layouts, colors, and styles all without starting over. Design at scale? Well, create full sets, mockups, or UI assets, all perfectly matching your brand. Start from a template, a sketch, or a single idea. With Kittle Flows, creativity literally flows. And right now, it's free to try. Even better, post your flow design and tag Kittle and unlock up to 300 bonus AI credits. With Flows, it makes you 10 times more creative, where you can instantly explore multiple ideas and directions with a single click. You got a concept? Well, Kittle Flows shows you what it could look like with different variations, and it's doing this pretty fast. Design faster, explore deeper. Kittle Flows is your new secret weapon, and it's ready when you are. Start your flow at kittle.com with the link in the description below. And when you share your creation, make sure you tag Kittle and get 300 free credits. But with that thought, let's get right back into today's video. Now, before we get started, you're going to need to make sure that you have the prerequisites fulfilled. Make sure that you have Node.js, the latest version installed. And once that is done, simply go ahead over to the GitHub repository, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. And what you can do is you can either install it using NPM or you can install it from the source. Now, what I'm going to be doing is just simply using this the NPM command to install it. And what I want to do now is open up my WSL and then I want to paste in this uh, npm install command to have it installed onto my computer. Now, once this is complete, we can verify if it is installed. So you can copy this and then paste this into your coder or your terminal, and you'll see that it is now installed. And to start it up, we can just run the quen command within our terminal and it should start up right away. This is where you're gonna be prompted to set up the theme as well as the API. So go ahead and configure all these things. 
for the API configuration, just want to keep a heads up. If you're in mainland China, you can go over to this link and apply for the API key. But if you're not like me, then you can simply go over to Model Studio, which I'll leave a link to as well in the description below. And you can set up the configurations for the API over here, get your key, and then you can set it within the API config file. Now, guys, you can also use the API key from Open Router because it is OpenAI compatible. You just need to simply paste in your Open Router key or your model scope key that you get from Alibaba's cloud team. But once that is done, you can then paste in the OpenAI base URL and then the model, which I'll showcase how it looks when I set it up with Open Router. And this is essentially how it would look like the API key, the base URL, and then the model card, which is the Quen3 coder. Now all I got to do is just simply click enter and I can start accessing this model using this provider from Open Router. So that is easy as that guys. You have two options. Remember model scope as well as Open Router. But now we can go ahead and start using this. Now there's a couple of things you can do. You can get started by simply just typing in anything in natural language. And then this is where you can ask questions, edit files or run commands. You can also create a quen.md file to customize your interactions with quen code. And obviously, if you click on help, you're going to be able to see all the different types of commands that they have and that you can actually use. But before I even get to that, there's a couple of things that you can do. You can add Quen code to your code base, and this is where you can use it for code refactoring or optimization. You can even have it for documentation and testing. And this is essentially where you can use the parsing capability, the agenda capabilities of this Quen3 coder to help you with your large code base. And in terms of its performance, as well as its speed, it's pretty quick. And you can see that it's able to autonomously work with you. And it is capable of helping you prototype in multiple ways. In this case, I simply just said, create a SAS landing page, and it is working on developing it right away. And there we go. We have our AI SAS landing page, which looks pretty decent. And it did get the base structure of it, right? Added animations, and it was able to generate it within a couple of seconds. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on this new Quen Code CLI. I really think that it is awesome and it has a lot of added benefits over many of the other tools that we've seen. Obviously, this is new, so keep in mind that it is going to be facing a lot of issues at the start. But overall, if you're looking for an open source solution that is cheap and it has good understanding of your code base, you would want to use this as it is something that will help you out for your development workflow. I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily get started. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you take a look at our second channel if you haven't already. Make sure you subscribe to the newsletter. Join our private discord by heading over to the patreon join our twitter page follow it and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas